Welcome to Enoch's Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I'm making a power drive adapter that fits your cloth slide or your compound slide on the Boxford. This is what it consists of. Hexagon with the ball on the end that goes into this diameter. There's a pin there that holds the part in and this can swivel up or down or in or out using this pin and the slots we put in. On the main part is an adapter. This part here fits on your handle which goes inside there and this will turn in a power drill and give you feed to your compound slide or your cross slide. So let's go to the workshop see how we make it. Just fit in my radius tool and all it is is a block with a dovetail on which swivels on another block. I have two parallel pieces and the tool just moves in and out between those. So first I'll put this into the dovetail. Just lock up the screws each side. A little pivot on the top. And what I want to do is just put a radius here just so you don't catch yourself. It's not a functioning part, it's just to make it look a bit better. What I have to watch is that I'm not going to hit my chuck jaws with this base. That should be okay. So give it a go. Take the tool holder off, just checking that my parting off tool is square to the chuck. Just placing a rod down the centre to catch the part when it comes off.
the problem I've got now is that the the part is hitting the tool post. I need to push the tool out a bit further. I fitted my boring bar. Now I want to bore that out to about 12 millimeters right the way through. I'm just boring this out 20 millimeters by 19 mil deep. chamfer on the corner I've moved to the dividing head in the milling machine and I'm just drilling through the three millimeter hole and I'm using my own mill to open that up to four millimeters making a slot two millimeters each side of the hole now I'm going to rotate that 180 degrees. Again I'm making the slot 2 millimeters each side of the hole. On the Boxford lathe, the handle has two different diameters. One side is 7mm, the other is 9 I've turned the part around in the chuck and I'll make sure that the holes I drilled previously are 90 degrees to the slot. Now I'm going to put a 9mm slot on the top half. and make it 12 millimeter in length. Rotate that round. Now on this side I need to put a smaller slot, this time I need a 7mm slot on this side. That's the body finished and now we'll make a small peg that goes through the part.
Well, there's the two parts we've made today, and we'll finish this off in part two.